Yelman, give us the details. So, um, you know, the, the restructuring is not very unusual because there, we have, um, you know, most banks in, on Wall Street actually do include mortgage or, uh, origination businesses uh, um, in their in their uh, investment banking unit, and that's what the what city is doing. Now they're bringing uh, origination into the rest of investment banking. Um, but of course, the, the people are are key in, in in Wall Street, and you know the the head of investment bank is sort of becoming uh, vice chairman and, and chairman of, an, of a unit, which means he's sort of taking off uh, executive responsibilities and is really going to be doing uh, client um, relations. Um, and meanwhile, uh, some of his underlings are being promoted. The co-heads of the new investment banking unit, um, one of them was the, the head of the origination, which is now becoming part of all of investment banking, and the other was, was uh, head of uh, emerging markets in Europe um, and Africa. So, so these are you know younger blood coming in uh, from the from the ranks and 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 becoming co-head of this business. Investment banking has grown at City a lot, and and you know these new people, our guests, are you know going to push it forward. Is, does this sort of a mark of a shift in strategy on, in strategy, not just with Citigroup, but we saw the change at, of the guard at Goldman Sachs, which seemed to suggest a little bit moving away from trading and more into the wealth management and investment banking. Is is this sort of the future of these big Wall Street banks? City, City has not moved away from it. They haven't. Okay. Right. Right. They've actually yeah. gone into more trading mm -hmm. uh, as they restructured in the last few years um, after the crisis. Um, I mean, initially, when. So, they, so, what does it say when you put someone like McGuire basically, you know, a hair's breadth away from being CEO? Um, well, I mean, you know, the, these these people are all part of the same same. You know, they they were um, in different divisions. They were doing different things. But but what's important is that um, there there are a lot of changes at City, and and some of them. You know they're they're trying to sort of shift around what they're doing globally. And City City was always the biggest global bank. They were in almost 100 countries, mm -hmm. um, and they shrank that footprint massively after the crisis. That was one of the strategies of shifting away, not from trading, but shifting away from being in every country around the world where you would go and you would see a Citibank branch. Mm -hmm. That they got out of. Uh, HSBC did the same. The, these two big banks were, were everywhere in the world with little retail banks operations. Now they're in very few countries. They've, they've shrunk to like half or one third of their, their presence. But in the countries they stayed, like Mexico for City, which is very important, they're trying to be more important. They're trying to focus their, their energies. They're trying to really use the synergies of whatever they're doing in credit cards, in retail, in investment banking, in trading, everything, and make more, grab more market share in those places.